What is up guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Galaxy Note 8. Uh, this is in the mid-range uh, kind of budget price point. Uh, as we can see, it's uh, $289 on Amazon right now. It was $260 last time I saw it, so the prices do go up and down. But actually got the uh, retail box, uh, believe it or not, which is really awesome. So that was pretty cool. As you can see, it's really beat up though. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Here we got the Note 8. This is the black in cool thing is that I've never actually had a note any note before so I'm pretty excited uh, myself charger cable and your uh, fast charging brick so I'm really I'm just freaking uh, stoked that I actually got the retail box <laughs> I was not expecting that all right let's get the sticker off and I bet it's gonna leave the stupid sticky residue yep they're gonna have to scrub that off and uh, yeah, so this still feels like a very solid and very modern uh, smartphone. It looks like, let's see if you can boot it up. Uh, this is going to be very fun to play with. And it's in really good condition. Like, wow, the condition of this phone is great. I don't see any like major scuffs or scratches anywhere. All right, guys, so I was able to get that sticker off. So let's just go over the hardware. And um, it's glass and metal uh, design on here. Still feels really premium. A pretty tall device, uh, actually. Dual camera setup, flash. Your fingerprint scanner is right here, which is really weird because it's really high up top. So that's probably going to be a problem for me since I kind of have smaller hands. So you have to, like, shimmy up, you know, to get to the fingerprint scanner. It's kind of a weird uh, placement there. Uh, but on the side, you have your power button. Left side you have your volume rockers and your Bixby button of course. And then down below we have our headphone jack, USB type C and our speaker with our little S pen that pops out right here. Very nice. If I can get it out, dang. <laughs> Can't get this thing out. Okay, there we go. Pops out. Boom. Nice. Yeah, this one like you when you pop it out, it's like really in there, so it won't really like fall out I guess which is good so for the display we have a 6.3 inch 1440p display 521 for the PPI it's a really nice display it kind of curves a little bit too as well and then we have a uh, little chin up top and up uh, bottom which I don't mind because it's better than the notch honestly so I've been watching some video on here and it's really good guys this display is actually really nice it's super color accurate since it's a super AMOLED display and so you would not be let down by this display I was very very impressed with it and like I said not having that notch is definitely a plus even though you have a little bit of chin up here it's definitely uh, nothing to complain about here it still looks really good and let's go ahead and check out that speaker So it's only one speaker, it's not dual speakers, it has one loudspeaker, but it's giving off some really nice bass, and it should be loud enough, it's loud enough for me, it should be loud enough for gaming, listening to music out loud if you want to, no issues really. Alright, before we even get to the S Pen and all the other stuff, I want to know how well these cameras uh, actually age. So. You have a 12 megapixel wide and a 12 megapixel telephoto. It can shoot in 4K, uh, 30 FPS. You have a dual front facing camera that shoots in 8 megapixel. And then you have a 2 megapixel dedicated iris scanner. So you have that one here as well. And the front camera actually shoots in 1440p, 30 FPS. So as you can see here from these stills, I was actually really blown away with how much detail and how color accurate these photos came out. I was really, really impressed, especially with the outside shots. And uh, you get some pretty good inside shots as well. Um, so the cameras on here are actually very, very good. Uh, still really solid cameras. I was really surprised with that. And I'll go ahead and show you some video. And I thought that was pretty uh, good as well. But I'll go ahead and show you that. Now I guess the only thing that you can really say about the cameras on here is there is no wide angle lens so if you're a wide angle 
uh, you know, fan, uh, then you're going to be missing that on the Note 8. But honestly, uh, this is a really great camera, so I wasn't too bad. I don't take a whole bunch of wide-angle shots, but I can see if that uh, would be a deal-breaker for a lot of people. Uh, but still, these are some very impressive cameras. All right, so how is gaming going to be on this uh, older budget flagship? So we have the Snapdragon 835 and the Adreno 540 on the US model uh, right here. And like I said, you have Android 9. Uh, so if you go into the graphic settings on one of my favorite games, Call of Duty Mobile, and we'll do a full gaming test for this phone because I actually want to see if it's going to get hot. You can see we're on very high for graphics and very high for frame rate. So it's got no problem with this with playing uh, games it should be able to play most games on high actually with that snapdragon 835 you shouldn't really have a problem with that now somebody with smaller hands like me um usually bigger phones like this are kind of a problem for me but this is actually might be one of the most comfortable phones i've held and i think it has something to do with how tall uh, it is and how thin it is uh, it's just really comfortable I don't have a problem gaming on here especially on these bigger uh, on a bigger display here and it looks absolutely beautiful with super AMOLED with the graphics on high it's really really nice but I was surprised at how comfortable uh, this is this is one of the more comfortable phones for me to hold and like I said gaming on here no problem those speakers are gonna be great oh snap Jeez. But like I said, the speakers are going to be great. Yeah, I'm dead. But as you can see, gaming on here is going to be a beast. Uh, no problem. You'll be able to play. It's not lagging all over the place. This is a very capable uh, smartphone here. Now, this phone does come with NFC. You have micro SD support, 64 gigs of storage on the base model, uh, 6 gigs of RAM. So that explains why this phone has been really silky smooth uh, so far. You have UFS uh, 2.1 for the storage. Uh, like I said, you have the headphone jack, uh, USB Type-C, uh, Bluetooth 5.0. So everything you could really want. You even have wireless charging on here as well. Uh, so it's feature packed uh, just like you would expect with any uh, older flagship. Now let's take a look at the S Pen here because it's pretty interesting and why you would want to get this for like a cheap media consumption or not a media device but a um a drawing device so if you're into digital drawing and stuff like that this could be a really good option for you because I've seen a lot of people on YouTube actually use this to like draw digitally and stuff and uh, it comes out really great because how accurate the uh, S Pen is uh, but as you can see as soon as you take it out you get the pop-up uh, window with all of your options here to create a note uh, select smart select screen write live message translate and um, it's pretty cool and actually when you like get close to the screen there's a little dot right here I don't know if you can see it but it kind of like hovers over it which I thought was really cool and uh, as you can see I can add more shortcuts and stuff like that if I want to any application that I have on here which is pretty cool so I downloaded one of the uh, like uh, digital drawing art and as you can see these are artwork that people have drawn on their phone which is pretty cool so like I said if you're into that uh, then this would be a really good kind of you know budget option for you so you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on like a, like a note 10 or whatever and uh, I, I, I in no way shape or form can actually draw but I just want to see how accurate this thing is so I can't I, I honestly can't tell you what uh, what people what you're looking for when you're looking at like digital drawing because I'm not a person that can draw uh, but I can say that this is a really accurate pen and I have again seen a lot of people use this uh, for drawing uh, digitally so I mean it works you can do it and uh, you know so if you do like navigating around Android with the S Pen like I said it is very accurate uh, very fun to do just to mess with and fly around Android with it's a fun way to navigate with uh, you have everything pretty much on here and one of the things that I really like about it is just being able to like pop it out this out uh, when the screen is off and I just like pop the S Pen out then it brings me to like the Samsung memos right here and I can go ahead and like draw or write a quick memo down that's pretty cool so if I need to jot down a quick note uh, that's really cool so I really like this S Pen I was kinda sleeping on it because I thought it's not really for me or for it's more for people that 
uh, you know, are into like the digital drawing stuff, but it's pretty cool just to play around with and jot stuff down and just kind of navigate with. Um, as far as you know, this phone itself, it's got all the features that you could really want a secure folder. Uh, we have your always on display, edge lighting, it's got everything that you would expect from uh, One UI. Everything is on here. Like I said, you don't get Android 10 on here, but you do get Android uh, 9. You do have that uh, update on here, so you can be able to have that. But I'm pretty sure that you will be able to uh, get a port to Android 10 from the uh, hacking community. So I wouldn't be too uh, worried about that. Uh, but yeah, I really, really like this. Uh, phone so far now the only kind of awkward thing about this phone is the fingerprint scanner and yes you can use the iris scanner on here which is fine it works fine but i'm usually a big fan of the fingerprint scanner but for this being such a tall phone like having to like unlock it like that it's kind of like a stretch it's not like the worst thing in the world but it's just a weird placement for them to uh, put the uh, fingerprint scanner at and they even do it on like the galaxy s20 it's kind of like higher higher up a lot of manufacturers put it right here, uh, but Samsung for some reason puts theirs like all the way up here and you can kind of smudge the camera I guess right here, but only weird thing about this phone so far. Now just to hop into settings real quick, if I go to display, uh, we have the option to go from 1440p to full HD so we can go ahead and do that if we want to and all your typical Samsung stuff we do have the LED uh, notification light on this which I always love it's always great to have uh, we have our advanced features for the S Pen, the Air View, Direct uh, Pen Input, the Pointer Screen Off Memo uh, when the screen is removed floating icon so this is just stuff to customize your uh, S Pen with uh, which is fine so we have our fingerprint sensor gesture so uh, if you have like you know smaller hands like me uh, you can swipe down and get to the tray uh, no problem so that's really nice also another kind of weird thing that I've seen with the S Pen is when you hover over stuff and like I click the little button right here I can actually like access it without actually touching the display so the battery situation on here you have a 3300 milliamp battery 15 watt fast charging and again you do have wireless charging as well uh, so you should be able to get a full day of battery life from what i've seen online with the battery tests and stuff like that so battery life should be pretty good so if you're a no user be sure to let me know about that i might just drain the battery uh, myself uh, but i'll go ahead and uh, you know finish using it for a couple of more days to give you uh, you know in-depth sort of you know, my thoughts on the battery uh, but very very nice device I was super impressed with the camera on this phone like the camera was really really great I was not expecting the cameras to be uh, that great especially when it's in uh, some good light and you get a ton of detail and so uh, the video as well you get a ton of detail with video too uh, so what do you guys think about the Galaxy Note 8 be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one